I don't understand what happened. EMS on standby. Suspect is going to be in the vehicle. This is blue on blue right now. I'm Alex Stone, host of Body Cam by Ride Along. Today's guest, Damian Bunting. Checking out videos we've never seen before. Let's do it. Car back. I've been asking all night. He's like, get my car back. Like, I don't care about the argument. I don't care about. I don't even know. Okay. He's on scene. Appears to be a domestic boyfriend, girlfriend. Uh, break up. She, he has her car. Yep, that's what I'm gathering from. Okay. Because you're getting patted down. Why? Do you have any weapons on you? No, I don't have no okay. weapons on me. I never understand this. If, <laughs> why am I getting searched? Just tell the person, hey, we have a report of a possible crime. We were called here today about a possible stolen vehicle. We're in the middle of an investigation trying to figure out what happened. No one's in trouble. Just be transparent, be open. We want to be able to have a conversation with you. We're going to pat you down and make sure you don't have any weapons on you for our safety. Detain him, please. Okay. You um, have the right to do that? I need an affidavit from you. Okay. That? That's what you're filling out that you're wanting for some charges. Okay. okay. They're going to take her complaint or an affidavit, right? The affidavit is for probable cause to make the arrest, right? For theft of the vehicle. Theft, we don't know really because we're... All we get is a body cam. Okay, right. Go ahead and transport him. I'll stay here and get the affidavit. They want the affidavit in order to book him in jail. Okay. It's called a PC affidavit. They're probably called affidavit. They want the witness statement because it's a, she, he, she said, he said. Okay. It's a, it's a, you know, we don't know what really happened. There is no, you don't have proof of a crime. You have statements. Okay, pretty standard. They want. The fuck? Excuse my language. Holy sh! I, I don't understand what happened. They had the suspect in custody. Already been patted. He's down. in the back of the vehicle for transport. Handcuffed. Handcuffed in back of a patrol vehicle, and he's been searched. And he was not aggressive and didn't show any. He, everything was cool. So, and then all of a sudden, a police officer yells, shot fire, and he starts firing his firearm. And it appears he's firing it at the back of the transport vehicle. Yeah. I might have hit my best. Oh, oh. Holy, dude, they got everyone out now. Now they got the full attack okay. team out. Oh my what? God. What? Okay, so I, this is blue on blue right now. That's all I'm seeing. They are almost 180 degrees opposed from each shooting other. Shooting at each other. There's like, no positive identification of a threat. There's literally just shooting. At I see no threat. I, I don't understand if, if there was a shots fired, they're firing at a vehicle of a suspect who's handcuffed in the back of a patrol vehicle who's been searched. Not only that, they're, they're lying. Like this is crossfire. Yeah. 43, give me traffic. Shots fired. Shots fired. I'm definitely down. Need EMS on standby. Suspect is going to be in the vehicle. What the fuck? What? Excuse my language. I, I, I'm really sorry for my language. Get back. Get back. Get back. Yeah, she's not going to press charges okay. now. Okay. 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 Ain't no affidavit now. Get back. Get back. I'm not going to tell you. So that's it. That's the video. That's the video. People in the background? Yeah, sure. okay. Yeah, please. In the background. As that officer, that deputy, was walking by that vehicle, an acorn fell off the tree and hit the top of his You've got to be kidding me. I did not hear any. Did you hear any noise? Nothing. I've heard no noise. I don't know. So I don't know when this is this episode is going to air, but I guarantee you this is going to blow up on the internet. So. so even if, let's just assume, let's assume that it was a shot fired from a suppressed firearm. Yeah. The first shot is going to be audibly louder than what an acorn sounds like hitting. Well, uh, what about the what about the sound of the broken glass that the projectile has to go through in order for there to be a shot fired? 
like, and positive identification that's loud, threat, even loud. if uh, assuming that the the first officer actually was shot at or was shot once he takes cover that moment of of pause of seeing where that shot could have come from. It could have come from inside the vehicle. It could have come from any one of the homes yeah. that are in the area. Like there was no effort to positively identify where that shot potentially came from before returning fire. Yeah. Now I do want to ask you tactically from the mm -hmm. female officer's, officer's perspective, when she is hearing her partner say that there are shots fired, can she act simply on what he is saying or does she need to also identify that threat before returning fire if it was me i would have wanted to identify the threat right there have been times when i pulled my firearm out this, on someone that had a firearm and i was at my pressure wall right. as law enforcement mm -hmm. and you have to know your target and this person had a firearm raised and was when it, and it was like, i'm gonna kill you and we were arresting another guy and whatever and so i'm not gonna i hate second guessing but i don't believe that that she had a clear target yeah she knew what the guy was shooting at just because someone else has acquired a target doesn't mean you've acquired that target right you're not passing off the target yeah and this isn't the military we're not laying laying down covering fire right. in an in a residential neighborhood absolutely like when you're yeah. in a profession where you legally have the ability to you know utilize a firearm you have to be certain of what you're doing and, yeah, you and have to it's going to fall under scrutiny yeah. in a situation like this it doesn't get worse than this yeah so was the deputy the charged resign? at all the sergeant didn't resign mm. the deputy that called the shots fired resigned. did he was he charged with anything no now this is where I have a big problem because as a concealed carry holder yeah, law or a security guard. Law enforcement has qualified immunity. But if we were to do that under the same Correct. circumstances, we are going under the jail. Very likely. Uh, police powers come from the executive portion mm -hmm. of the constitution. It, it flows directly from the executive, the president of the United States, all the way down to the individual police officer. Mm -hmm regardless of where you are in the United States. That typically comes with a qualified immunity. Okay. Because you're acting under that that authority. Right. And Don't so, you have to qualify for the immunity? How are you immune if you're in a situation when, where you're making these When you're mistakes? sworn in, you receive qualified immunity. And it's it's flat across the board. There's no way to pierce that. In there are like jurisdictions that I think respect qualified immunity more than others. And there are jurisdictions that are attempting to withdraw qualified immunity. So this was a part of the defund the police movement. Uh, one of the one of the sub conversations in that entire movement yeah. was should we actually give qualified immunity to law enforcement? But the real question is, can you really give an executive power in the Constitution to law enforcement and not give them qualified immunity. Yeah. Because let's say a judge issues a warrant to search your home and there's nothing there. They violated your rights and it led to nothing. It led to no crime, no proof of a crime, no facts, no evidence. Your rights were violated. If they didn't have qualified immunity, you could sue every judge. I understand. That makes sense. And so you have to, there has to be some give and take in society. Yeah. Right. That's why I say law enforcement is really that it's that necessary. I wouldn't call it an evil, but it's a necessary feedback loop in order to guarantee a level of public safety. This is body cam by ride along. That was a long one. That was a rough one. Wow. Uh, you heard some cuss words from uh, <laughs> a good old chaplain over here. Keep watching right along. Take care guys. Pick it up.